Hello, Graham Vincent, violin maker and musician. Uh, I'm going to do a review today on prim violin strings. So, first, uh, one of my Ash violins. This has been sold, so I'm just about to take all the sort of fittings off it and give it a bit of a clean and do a little bit of tidying up on it. And I've also got my spare violin. Um, I've got these two both with prim strings on because I went... Um, as a musician on the Queen Mary II this summer, I did 60 gigs using primarily this violin. I did a couple with the other one. Um, so we've got two violins. I can demonstrate what these strings sound like after they've really been played, because this obviously has been through a few gigs. What it does need is a shoulder rest. The Swedish strings, recommended to me by um, a violin maker I know called Bill Smith. I'm using a Baroque style bow. These strings are much loved by bluegrass fiddle players. Um, for me, that's that's a bit of an alarm bell, really, because I, I'm, I'm not a massive fan of that kind of harsh sound that is often preferred by bluegrass players. All massive respect to bluegrass players. It's just that's not my thing, sound-wise. I like something a bit more mellow, a bit more round. And I hope this is coming across. It's just recorded on, on the iPhone uh, at arm's length basically. Um, I hope that it's coming across that yes it's got a really nice cut on the edge of the sound um, but also that it's got a warmth and a richness to it um, which is really pleasing. They're not the fattest of strings but they're not painfully narrow. They've got a, a pleasant level of tension under the fingers uh, and, and this is the, the, the medium tension set that I'm using. Um, they don't seem to have any nasty characteristics like diving in pitch when they get old and tired because, I mean, as I say, this is now done about 70 gigs with this set of strings. And if I go really slowly and press harder, I probably will be able to make, make that sort of dive. It can, but you have to work for it. Whereas with some tired strings, that just is hard to avoid, but no, we've, we've been nowhere near that on these. Really nice, I like that. So, then the other violin. This is, um, a bit of an odd violin. It's it's been thinned down too much. I think when it was made, it, they wanted to be impressive under the ear in the shop. Um, the result of that is it can be a bit boxy and a bit boomy, and it it gets lost when you're playing with other instruments. Despite the fact it's on the face of it quite a loud violin. However, with these strings, it's kind of tamed some of that. I have to say, and it, it's actually turned it into something quite pleasant. Thank you. 
So, yeah, just to repeat, my general thoughts, good, reliable set of strings, cheap. Um, would I recommend them? Yes, I would. Yes, I most definitely would. Will I be buying them again for myself? Yes, I will be, uh, which is, you know, they're, they're a, a really good balance of bright cutting tone when you need it, but backed up with a bit of warmth and colour. They don't seem to have any nasty characteristics. They feel okay and you get used to them under, under, the, under the fingers. Um, yeah, I, 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 I like them. So um, that's the best I can say, really. Uh, yep, yeah, that's it for me. Look after yourselves. Cheers, folks. Bye.